Um, is Valentine's Day still canceled? Cause honey, I'm trying to show up and show out. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we about to eat at? channel royal gang i am bringing y'all the dramatic valentine's day makeup look we went dramatic but not too too crazy so we got a cut crease we have glitter liner we got the neon pink we got some purple we got the pink highlights we got the glossy nude lips we got the red dress how you showing up sis how are you showing up queen how 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 i feel like i haven't played in color in a long time and i'm glad that this came out the way it did if you are ready to see this tutorial of course make sure that you are subscribed to my channel hit the notification bell so that you are notified every single time i'm on your screen your phone your tablet your tv your machine wherever i don't know a lot of people watch youtube in many different places if you're ready to get into this makeup look, y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know the vibes. Let's get down to business. It's about that time to whip out the glitter. It's about that time to whip out the gems. It's about that time to whip out the extra ordinary. <laughs> I already did my brows off camera just to save time. And I did my brows using the e.l.f. brow kit. This has been the GOAT lately. I, yeah, I don't know, it's just been the go-to. Like it gets the job done, it's cheap, I feel like it's a dupe, so it's the GOAT. Let's get these eyes ready for the eyeshadow. So first what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the color Butterscotch, and I'm gonna apply this to the back of my lids and let it get tacky. While this is getting tacky on the back of my eyes, I'm gonna prime my face. She is on her last bit, ladies and gentlemen, her last bit. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Primer. Taking a stippling brush, I'm just gonna blend this out so it can make my eyelids all one color, which will make an even base for all the colors that we're about to apply. Taking the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder, we're just going to apply this right on top of where we put the concealer just so it stays in place. I've already started the process of this eye, so now we're gonna transfer that over to this eye. The first palette that we're gonna go into is the Jackie Ina palette. Of course, y'all already know the vibes. We're gonna go into the color Ginger right here, and this is going to be our transition shade. Now that we got the transition shade down, I'm gonna go into the color Pinker with a big fluffy brush and we're just going to dust this into the transition, but we're gonna like pack it on. We're gonna pack it on so we get a lot of definition up here. So we're gonna take Pinker, not only put it in the crease, we're also gonna put it in the outer V. Mm -hmm. 
as I'm packing on the pinker, I'm gonna go into ginger with the same brush that I applied ginger and I'm going to blend out the edges so it looks a little bit smoother. Now I'm gonna take the Inglot Gel Liner in the number 54. It's basically like a shimmery base that I'm going to use and I'm going to use this to cut my crease using one of these crease brushes. It's a flat concealer brush that I'm just going to use to cut my crease, make it real sharp, real sharp. After applying the cut crease, I'm taking pinker just to blend in the outer V. We want that to be like as clean as possible. My Valentine's is a little remix. You know, we got purple, we got pink, we got neon pink. Who says it has to always be red and pink and white? The first pink in the inner third is gonna be this one right here. This color is called Supreme and it's in the Jackie Anna palette. In the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette called Riviera, we're gonna go into the color Bahamas, which is this neon pink right here. So pretty, we're just gonna put this in the middle. All right, so we got the eye set, but what we're gonna do, instead of doing a regular liner, we're gonna do a glitter liner. And we're gonna use my Makeup by Goddess glitter, very multi-dextrous with the shapes and the sizes. I'm gonna take my She Is Royalty Royal Lash Adhesive. <sighs> we're gonna take this and I'm gonna create the wing first. I'm gonna create the wing first and then I'm gonna apply the glitter right on top. For the lashes, you already know the vibes. You already know the vibes. She has royalty lashes in the style. Extraordinary. They're super extra. Not super, let me not say super. For foundation, we're gonna use the Too Faced Concealer, Not Concealer Foundation in the color Chai. Now let's actually cream contour a bit. I don't cream contour a lot, but when I really want like an extra, extra, extra oomph, 
cream contour will do it for you. And I'm gonna cream contour using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. And this is in the color Espresso. Butterscotch under the eyes, on the chin, on the cupid's bow, down the bridge of my nose, and in my forehead. And of course, we're going to blend that out, but I'm going to blend that out with the Royal Beauty Sponge. you never seen a beauty sponge so affordable and blends like magic. See that? See how quick it blends? And one thing I really love about this sponge, it doesn't waste product. Everything that I'm showing you guys, obviously from the lashes, the applicator, the glue, the beauty sponge, the brushes, everything can be found on my website and y'all can find my website down in the description box or sheisroyalty.net. Taking a black radiance contour palette. I'm gonna go into the color contour to set my contour. And then we're gonna chisel all that out. So let's add the neon pink to the bottom lash line. I'm gonna pack that on and I'm just gonna pack it on with like a small shader brush. For the pop in the eyes, we're gonna go into Trust Issues. I love this color. Oh, so pretty. To add some color back into the face, we're gonna use the Dual Matte Powder Foundation by Makeup Forever in the color 128, 118. It's one of them. One of them, two of them, three of them. This is the blush Sweet Sweet Fantasy by MAC. It was from Mariah Carey's collection a couple of years back. First highlight, highlight numero uno, uno. We're gonna take the color Moscow Mule from the Fenty I forgot what these are called. Highlighter blush duos. I'm really annoying you. And I'm just gonna apply Moscow Mule because I feel like this would be a nice, you know, hint of pink blush. If I blush, you know, highlights. You see what I'm saying? 
Do you see what I'm you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? So for highlight number two, we're gonna go into the Baked Highlighter by Urban Decay, and this is in the color Aura. Oh, this is such a beautiful topper highlighter. Like, it gives you the extra glitter and the extra shine. Do you see? First, we're gonna use the ColourPop liner in the color K. Then we're gonna use the Sephora lip gloss in the number two. Love this, ugh. To top it off and to make it a little bit more extra, we're gonna use the Buxom lip gloss in the color Amanda. When I tell you I am obsessed with this lip combo, obsessed. Ladies, queens, the royal gang, we now have the finished look. If you have stayed tuned throughout all of this, thank you so much. I don't think you guys understand, like, it takes two to tangle. There's me and there's you. So thank you so much for tangling with me today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope that you were able to, like, you know get some inspiration for this so you know exactly what you're going to be doing for valentine's day thank you so much for watching you guys um she is royalty over and out <laughs>